Hey guys, how's it going? So time for another mail time video. We have a nice little stack of boxes all around me right here that I want to get opened up. I'm very excited about it. It's also a very windy day today. Um, we woke up to a beautiful day and then at about nine o'clock this morning, the wind started just howling and then we got rain. We thankfully didn't get any hail, but it's made for a really good day just to kind of regroup, organize some things, get ready for new projects, and then also film this mail time. So anyway, I'm just gonna get right into the boxes, uh, starting with this one right here, which is from Angela from Passiflora in Michigan. <gasps> oh, it's a plant. Oh, I am so glad I just got this one yesterday. It didn't say uh, anything about a live plant. It just said fragile. So. Like I didn't hurry to open it and thankfully it wasn't in the rest of the, the stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh, this isn't from, this must be the company that it comes from. This is from Linda Vodder from Potager Blog or Potager Blog. Oh my goodness, you guys, it's a topiary. And Linda, as you know, we've done a collaboration with her, a couple of collab videos in the past um, where she showed us some really fun projects, but she is the queen of all topiaries. And this is gorgeous. Oh, and the pot's beautiful too. Oh my goodness. That's a myrtle topiary, right? Linda, I'm gonna have to get back onto your channel and watch some of your myrtle topiary care videos again. <laughs> so I haven't um, taken care of one like this in a really long time. Um, so this is very exciting. You guys, I will link to this because this is part of the Linda Vodder collection. Um, so anyway, must be from Passiflora is the company where they come from. Anyway, I'll link it down below. Thank you, Linda, for sending this. So sweet. I love it. In fact, shall we put it right here? Can you see that on the windowsill? How sweet. Oh, I'm so glad I opened that one without letting it sit in its box. This is from Nefertiti's Royal Soapery. Smells like the so, oh. We will link it down below, but that's what came in the box. I have to apologize in advance for my fingernails, the state in which they are in. I just did a bunch of potting, which this is a very appropriate gift. Strawberry kiwi soap, berries and cream, eucalyptus and spearmint. Oh. <sighs> Apples and champagne. Ooh, yum. Peachy Supreme. Oh, okay. This is Essence. Oh, that one's for Aaron, I think. That one smells yum. Seduction. Also for Aaron. <laughs> Juicy. Yum. And Green Irish. Oh, awesome. Nefertiti, thank you so much for sending these out. How fun. Now I just need to bust my stiff fingernail brush out and do some cleaning with some of these soaps for my fingernails. I think last time I did this type of video, I thought I should get a different table for in here. I forgot. So all of my stuff gets shipped to the garden center and my mom really wanted to open this one because of the paper. <laughs> she was like really wanting to do it. This is from Pam in Ohio. Oh, look at this an assortment of green teas and fruit infusions, individually wrapped and tagged tea bags. Thank you, Pam. Oh, that'll be so much fun. Oh, hold on, hold on. Something else in here. Oh, a couple more things, let's see. There's the card. Oh, this is so cute. She said she remembers, um, I, at one point I said that I sing I love you a bushel and a peck to Benjamin, which I do every single day, more than one time a day. And she found this tea towel. I love you a bushel and a peck and a hug around the neck. So cute. Actually, Benjamin sings it back to me now. It's the cutest thing ever. So this, how cute. This next one's from Aurelia. Since most of your mail openings are for your yard, Laura and Cutie Benjamin, I saw this towel and thought of Aaron. Enjoy. Aaron's gonna love it. And Benjamin will probably love it too. Thank you so much, Aurelia. This is from Patty in Iowa. Oh, these are cute. Oh my word. I don't know if you can see them through the plastic, but see those squash, corn, beets, they're all like, let's see if I can do this. There we go. 
Look at that. They're like carved into the wood. That is so cool. I've never seen tags like this. So there's corn squash, cucumber, carrots, sunflowers, broccoli, beets, potatoes, onion, uh, blueberries, peas, strawberries, like just a ton in here. Thank you, Patty. It's really unique. From Stephanie in Ohio. I never know exactly if the package comes from that person or if it comes from like in the, the you know, case of the first one where it's coming from a business um, that somebody's ordered from. So you never know until we get into it. Ugh. Oh, I knew this was gonna be a hard one to get into. I could just tell. A book for Benjamin. Fiona, it's bedtime. <laughs> so cute. In partnership with the Cincinnati Zoo. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, he's gonna love this. This card is to Aaron. I'll make sure he gets that and reads that. He doesn't, uh, he's not out here when I film Mel Times. I'm all by myself. So um, anyway, just so you guys know. <laughs> oh my, <gasps> that freaked me out. <laughs> it's one of those things that you can, um, how do you, how does it work though? Oh, okay. So, oh my gosh, that just sent butterflies into my toes. So you, you uh, <laughs> twist it up like that and you put it in so that when somebody opens it up, well, she probably had it twisted more than I just did. It flies out at you. <laughs> Funny. Kind of want to recreate the experience. <laughs> oh my. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> she said, oh, I hope that didn't scare you. Have fun with it. Well, Stephanie scared me a little bit, but I think it's really funny. Oh, Stephanie, you were the one who you sent other things in the past and you bought us the rooster in front of our chicken coop. So thank you for that. I really, really love him out there. In fact, we've got that Indiglo Girl Cedum, not Cedum, Salvia planted kind of right around him. And it's just starting like its buds are really full and I think it's gonna to start to bloom here soon and he looks perfectly tucked in. I just love it. Thank you for sending out this gift. Oh, I've been thoroughly woken up after that butterfly scare. Oh, nice. A new way to enjoy your tea. Thank you for sharing your garden and those you love with us. God bless you from Robin. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, it's an iced tea press and go. How cool. So you brew your infusion, you press on the presser and then you go. Very awesome. Thank you, Robin. Oh, I already opened this one. Oh, no butterfly flying out at me. Oh, that's cool. Cool. Oh, from Dahlia, Dahlia. She's been coloring postcards and thought she would send one out that we would like. That's really sweet. Thank you. I love, love stuff like that. This is from Jessica in New York. This one also has a scent. Oh, maybe it's this. Oh, yep, that'd be it. Got a little fragrance, what do they call them? I don't know, thing. <laughs> With a cactus on it, always dreaming, that's cute. Oh, look at this. Oh, bummer. Okay, so this is really cool. Wicked Velvet is I think the name of the company. Uh, Wicked Velvet Succulent Lover Blend. It's a candle. These, these unfortunately didn't make it, but they would be melted here pretty quick anyway. I'll light, I love candles, so I'll be lighting this very soon. But isn't that a really cool idea? This is uh, orange and lemongrass. Super, super cute. And this one is apple and clove. Awesome, thank you, Jessica. This is from Sharon in California. Oh, this is so cool, you guys. So Sharon said that she watches Mary from the White Cottage Company. She has a YouTube channel and an Etsy shop. Um, because of uh, us, I bought something uh, from Mary for one of our fall like decorating kind of things that I did on the front porch. And anyway, I have been watching Mary's channel for a while now and I really find it inspirational. She does a lot of like home decor stuff and a lot of different projects and it's a really fun um, channel to watch. Anyway, she's got a book of all of the projects or some of the projects 
most certainly not all of the projects she's done in here. And Sharon thought that I would really enjoy having it, which I think that's the sweetest thing because I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna make my coffee tonight after Benjamin goes down for bed. And this will be my reading material for this evening. So thank you, Sharon, so much. And I'm so glad that you enjoy Mary's channel. I think that's really sweet. This right here was a gift that was dropped off at the garden center. So somebody local, I'm guessing, or somebody traveling through, So this is from Rachel, who's friends with my sister-in-law, Nellie. And they live close to Boise, Idaho. Anyway, Nellie shared our channel with her and she's just, oh, that's so sweet. We have incredibly supportive family members. We're very lucky. Oh yeah. Benjamin, what a, Benjamin and I will really like these. That's awesome. Oh, and look at this. So you put your cool pop down in one of these. Look how cool this is. See, there's like this little opening here where you can put your cool pop so that it's like a little cozy so your hand doesn't get freezing cold. Oh, that is like the most clever thing ever. Thank you, Rachel. Gotta make sure that's what it does. Hold on. So Rachel said she works for an online boutique and they got these in and she thought it was really fun. I think I'm gonna try to find the link because what a fun summertime gift to give to somebody with kids or adults that enjoy these sorts of things as well. This is from Katie. Um, she lives near Seattle. She and her husband Gabe were here for our tour last year and we got to see them when we were at the Northwest Flower and Garden Festival as well. They are the sweetest couple and sweetest family Whoa, ever. Oh, how fun! <laughs> She said that she hadn't seen one of these tucked into our garden yet and she thought that we might enjoy tucking it in either into our garden or into like a larger sized fairy kind of magical garden. How cute. The gift of flowers is so cute. We gotta see this guy in real life here, not just. I think they're actually coming down in September when we, woo, when we do our next tour. Like that guy's legit. He's got some heft to him. Thank you, Katie, that was very sweet. Oh, what is this? Oh, beautiful. <gasps> Earrings with pearls, oh my word. You can see they are little gold hoops with pearls down below. Beautiful. Oh, flower sack dishcloth that's been hand painted. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness. I love it, thank you, Margaret. There we go. Can you guys see those? Oh, how fun. The brand is Everin, shopeverin.com. We'll try to remember to link that down below. So many packages this week, you guys. Those are the sweetest. Oh, this one is from Amazon Fulfillment Services. <laughs> is there a note? Please let there be a note. This is a UV Excellent protection for the harmful effects of the sun's UV radiation. Willet is the brand. There's a blue one and a black one. Oh, wow. I love that. Now, I don't know who sent these, so I'm not able to thank you properly. So whoever sent these, thank you so much. This is from M in Indiana. From Marianne. Oh, so sweet. Oh. Marianne uh, notices that we that I use a kneeling pad often, and she thought I might like to try out some kneeling pads. She said they are reversible, but she said I know she knows knows that I like bees. Aren't those cute? Here's the back side, and they are nice. They feel really nice. I'm interested. Thank you, Marianne. This is from Reclaiming the Joy, Patricia, in Iowa. You guys, you want to take a guess to what it is? I bet you would never in a million years guess what it is. Plant tags, big ones. Check this out. So there's rosemary, cilantro, basil. Oh my word. Parsley. Whoa, those are nice. I wonder if she made these. Oh, my parents, thank you for the packing material. To everyone who used packing material, it all gets recycled. Oh, cute. 
best buds. Hello sunshine, plant happy. Thank you, Patricia, for these gifts. So sweet. Whoa. This is from Sue. Wow, well, it arrived beautifully. This is a botanical print of a geranium. Oh my goodness, you guys. Isn't that pretty? Thank you, Sue. This is from Karen in Massachusetts. Puma lost in Newport for Benjamin. And myself, I'm always appreciative for new books at bedtime. So we don't have to read the same things over and over again. So this story is based in uh, Newport, Rhode Island, where we've been able to go to the flower show a couple of times. So that's really fun. Uh, but this book is signed by the author as well, which is really fun. Oh, and some equipment, heavy equipment. You guys know the way to Benjamin's heart. Thank you, Karen, for sending this out. I know who this is from right away when I saw in here. Oh, cute. This is from Terry and Terry, Cleveland. They live in our area and have been big supporters of ours and of the garden centers for a lot of years. And check this out. Woodburned picture of our chicken coop. Isn't that cool? Oh, that looks awesome. Terry, you did a great job. And then a picture for Benjamin. Let's see, no glare. In every letter of his name, there's like a picture of a tractor. I love it. Thank you so much. Oh, that's so sweet. So each one of them kind of used their, um, what they are passionate about. Um, and Terry, T-E-R-R-Y, <laughs> is really good with wood burning. I've seen some other, some of his other pieces of work and they are amazing. And then Terry, T-E-R-I, <laughs> likes to mess around with graphics. So she is the one who did that one. So both really talented, thank you. This is from Sue in Oregon. Well, aren't those beautiful? Oh, Sue, you made these. Oh my word. Oh, <gasps> whoa. How does one even do that? Oh, they've been treated and they're like good to tuck in outside. So they're like completely weatherproof and she hand paints these and she just loves gardening, works at a garden center too. And I mean, how fun. She said, I, I have to say I can be madder than a hat or sad, whatever. And I go out in my garden and totally calm in no time. I always say gardening is nature's antidepressant, cure all medicine. Oh, that is true. Thank you so much, Sue. There's cookies in here from Betty. Love is a warm cup of tea and cookies. Oh, cute, cookies and tea. Oh, that's super cute. I love that idea. I'm gonna steal that idea. Go gently, I may fall apart. Whoa. Look at that. That's made out of paper. Isn't that neat? Thanks, Betty. This is from Jay Parker in Ontario, Canada. Everyday cleanser, safe for and cleans, sinks, tubs, tile, cookware, countertops, and so much more. Lord knows I need that. Is there a note? Oh. Oh, this is awesome. This is from Julie, Julie in Ontario, Canada. Anyway, um, she said, I have complained about our white window boxes and how I cannot for the life of me get them cleaned up and it drives me kind of nuts. And she said, this works super well on everything. She said, don't ask me how it works. It appears to be magic, which I'm all about. Awesome. I cannot wait to try this. Thank you, Julie. And from Robin in California. To Benjamin, care of Laura. <laughs> That's so cute. This is a quilt, you guys. A quilt for Benjamin. She said that she thought he would love it because it's got bugs and stuff all over it. Look at that. Robin, you have outdone yourself. Look at this beautiful piece of artistry. Oh. That is so awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, even the, when it was quilted, is that the right term? When it was backed and then quilted, right? There, um, the pattern is dragonflies. Can you see that? Maybe, maybe not. I can't see it from here in the camera screen. I hope you could see it, that is so cool. I'm just gonna keep this one right here on my lap. This is from Shelly, who, um, has been to our house a few times. They were here um, for the tour 
uh, and she's part of the committee, the, the committee that puts on the tour here at our house. And they do a tremendous amount of work. Amazing, amazing ladies. And Shelly is the sweetest. And I got to see her again in um, Seattle at the Northwest Flower and Garden Festival. Wow, you got this back, uh, box packed full. First of all, one of my favorites ever, in fact, Mm. Mm. so cute fairy garden figurines oh this is super cute you guys okay i can see a succulent and cactus fairy garden in our near future shelly thank you so much and don't mind if i do this is labeled to Master Benjamin. <laughs> so cute. Oh my goodness. This is the cutest thing ever. It's a stuffed chicken with a chick. Oh, that is cute. Oh, this is from Stephanie in Ohio as well. Oh, so cute. Thank you. It says that her two-year-old grandson loves his hen and maybe would uh, enjoy one for indoors too. Or maybe you would enjoy one for indoors too. That is so cute because it looks like one of our chickens anyway. All right, guys, this is the very last box right here. This is from Faith in Missouri, from Hidden Acres Farm. So Faith does have a YouTube channel called Hidden Acres Farm. Oh, she sent out some vintage items. I'm gonna get them all out of the box real quick. Oh, look at these, these are stickers. Benjamin will love that. Oh, and then some blank cards. Oh, okay. Oh, my mom's gonna be so jealous. Actually, I'm not gonna even take them out of their wrapping. I don't wanna mess anything up here. So these are vintage blank cards. Aren't those beautiful? And there's quite a number of them in each package. A few others. That one right there. It's also a blank note card. All of them vintage, that is so cool. And then some Victorian papers. Okay, I gotta get these out of the bag here. Oh, look at this. Some more blank cards. Oh, and these are like, oh, these are name cards. Look at this. So you can do name cards at like a dining setting, which we do sometimes on like for formal occasions. Uh, I, we used to do it a lot when I was a kid. Some vintage stickers. Those are cool. She says that, now I gotta find the card. She says that she sells vintage items online under yeah, eBay is Thorn Faith. So like stuff like this, if you're interested, that's really cool. <gasps> awesome. Thank you, Faith, so much for sending these out. So much fun. Oh, wait a minute. I was like so excited about the papers. Oh. Oh, hand painted ornaments, vintage ones. Oh, they're fragile. How fun are those? There's pink and gold. Oh, those are so neat. Faith, this is awesome, thank you. There's also one other gift that arrived to me in the past week or so, or 10 days or something like that, um, but I don't have it up here because it's in the greenhouse. Um, so Laura from New, New Jersey, who also has a YouTube channel, um, sent out a rose uh, that's called Laura. It's from Heirloom Roses, and I'm gonna throw a picture of what it looks like um, when it blooms up on the screen so you can see it. But anyway, it came with this beautiful tag that had the name of the rose, so that, which I think is such a great idea. In fact, we took a picture of the stake and sent it to Proven Winners, and we were like, you need to do this. <laughs> Um, so whenever anybody orders a plant, they get the stake that's appropriate for that plant. And then you can always have your things identified out in the garden. It was like an engraved one, um, so it won't wear out and, and wear off. And it was really beautiful. So anyway, Laura, thank you so much for, for sending that out. Her YouTube channel is How's It Growing, so in New Jersey. Anyway, that's it for this mail time video. There were a ton of things that were sent, which we always appreciate. It's very sweet of you guys to think of us. and. Um, just like all the little things that you run across, like the Victorian papers or, you know, the little fairy garden things or the decorative rocks. Or, I mean, all the things that you guys send out is just, that make us, make you think of us is just so sweet because 
I don't know. I just, I was telling somebody today, like, if you would have told me five years ago that I'd be sent, sitting down opening up boxes from people all over the land, I would never have believed you. Um, it's just been such an amazing ride and amazing time. And you guys, we are just revving up here um, at our house in terms of projects and looking out at the new property. Our uh, flower garden space is all tilled up. I still haven't had a chance to plant anything yet because I didn't know how um, extensive it was to get things set up on new land. Like there are so many people that you need to um, use <laughs> to get like, I mean, to, to not use, but to um, schedule with, to like do their part. So we, you know, trenches being dug, we had to get electric run and water pipes run and we had to wait on Idaho power, our power to connect to our new um, like electric that we had run. And then um, we have to have the landscape guy back out to come run the water to our garden uh, area, which I'm hoping is done this week. I don't know. It'll be an interesting year. I kind of set my standards pretty low um, as per like what I was going to be able to grow out there because I've already had to skip all of my early flowers. So I won't be able to plant them because it's just getting too hot um, already. So anyway, I don't know why I got on that tangent other than we have a ton of beautiful blooming stuff out in our greenhouse and we're just working away on, on projects except on windy days like this. We got one greenhouse project done and then I just told Aaron, I just think it's too windy to be outside. So anyway, <laughs> TMI. Um, thank you guys so much for sending all this stuff. Super appreciate it. You guys are awesome. We love you. Hope you have a great week and we will see you in the next video. Bye.